All right, so this is where my classroom starts. This is actually um, right off my kitchen and my little breakfast nook area in my house. We have bifold doors on both ends. So when we first walk in, have our solar system chart. That was, that was one of my very first purchases when I got ready to homeschool and I knew I was gonna have a homeschool space. That was one of my very first purchases and I was so proud of that because I thought it was just the cutest little thing. Um, my husband hung a TV on the wall for us, so whenever we, you know, need to utilize YouTube for a lesson or something, we'll have it right here and we can just sit at the table. Um, I found this bookshelf at a Goodwill. It is actually a rolling bookshelf, and it's still in pretty rough condition. The plan was to paint it, <laughs> but as you can see, I never got around to that, but it's fine. It's whatever. So anyway, my daughter, she swaps the books out on it for me a, on a frequent basis. So usually I like to keep the classics out here where I can get to them easily, but she likes to swap them all around for me. So there's all kinds of books up there. And at the very bottom is Legos. I like to have the Legos in the classroom. So if, you know, one child is working on something and um, the other one is waiting on me to help them, you know, then they can come play with the, the Legos while they're waiting on me. Um, and then this whole wall right here is a, a bookshelf. This this was something that my husband built for me um, a few years back. It starts right here and it goes up over the, the big window and then goes down the other side. So that was, that was something he built for me before we even ever discussed homeschooling because I just, my book collection is so huge. Um, so, and you'll see our artwork. This is something that we've been working on since we've started doing the space unit with Gather Round. We are making solar systems. Everybody has their own. This is Heath's. This is Heath's little solar system. This is his sun, Mercury, Venus, and Earth. We haven't quite got to Mars yet, but that's Heath's little astronaut there. It's my little Heath. And then this over here is my little Hannah. This is her solar system. She does not have an earth. She colored the earth, um, but then she cut it to bits. So, <laughs> so I didn't get to post her earth. And then there's Keelan's solar system. Um, so anyway, and then this is where we keep our printer. I know it looks kind of messy, but this is, this is where we keep our printer and our hole puncher, our stapler, and all that kind of stuff. Um, and as you can see, I'm getting ready for a little St. Patrick's Day treasure hunt. I'm super excited about that. I've got clues hidden all around this little room. And then the kids get a little box of chocolate gold coins at the end. And this is my cat, Chloe, taking up my chair. Hey, Chloe. How are you today, ma'am? You doing well? Yeah? Okay, well, I'm glad you're comfortable. Anyway, so this is the table where we sit at. Like I said, you can see how my daughter has colored all over the tablecloth for me with the highlighters. Yep, she does that. Um, and then these over here are my supply closets. I'm sure y'all have seen these or at least the posters in some of the backgrounds of some of my videos. Um, these are extremely unorganized, but I'm going to show them to you anyway because like I said, this is real life. This is, this is the one that holds all the craft and art supplies. It is, these, these back here, these are the little boxes that I was just saying. They're going to go around the room and find the clues and get a little box of uh, gold chocolate coins at the end. Those are for tomorrow, but anyway. Um, you know, we have glue, magnifying glasses, tape, paint, extra books. We've got play money. We've got our little manipulatives. We've got puzzles, sketchbooks workbooks, all kinds of little things. A lot of the stuff that you see down here, like on these two shelves, are for my daughter. Those I like to keep handy where she can get to them herself. So if I'm trying to teach a lesson, she can just go in that cabinet by herself and get what she wants. So just some more little random stuff up here. And this is Heath's shelf. This is where I keep all of Heath's work. And this is where I keep, um, keep his records like of, of all the work that he's been doing um, and this is his stack of books that I have to use every day and the rest of the stuff out right there that's kind of stacked upright that's the stuff that we used at the beginning of the year but aren't using anymore um, and then this is Keelan's this is Keelan's shelf this is where I keep all of his stuff 
And then we have some stuff down here. I hope I have that back there in the back, hoping to do a um, a butterfly, maybe someday, maybe raising a butterfly. Thought that might be kind of neat. Gather around has a creepy crawlies unit, and I thought it might be neat if we raised a butterfly or got an ant farm or something like that. Thought that would be kind of cool. Um, so this, and I've talked about the morning work packets and journals. This is where we keep all of that. Um, all of these slots are for like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So, um, you know, they have their journal and then, um, their morning work packet is right up underneath it. If I can pull it up and see, yeah, that's their morning work packets. Um, and then Wednesdays they do their handwriting is what is considered their morning work on Wednesdays. And then I just have some random random stuff, my post-it notes that I'm always using and my agenda under under there and things like that, my son's glasses. Um, and this is where I keep our read aloud books, books that I want to read aloud to them during, like before class or you know during class or during a break or something. These are Keelan's books. Um, and the reason why Keelan has his own spot is because I get a lot of his books from the library. Um, I didn't have a whole lot of um, younger type readers available as much as I did for Heath, so I usually have to keep a lot of um, library books for Keelan, and then I have a, a book for library books that need to go out, books that need to go back. I actually have some that are over a week late now, so whoopsie poopsies, but we'll get them turned in. Um, and this is where we keep our not consumed stack of Bible study stuff, um, and then over there is where we keep the Answers in Genesis stuff, the marker board, Gather Round is down here, um, these are the boys' checklist of what they have to do every day. Um, calendar. And this precious, precious artwork that Heath made for me. And I, it's been up there for weeks, and I haven't had the heart to take it down yet. I just, I love it so much. And then we have our calendar. And we do that every day. We talk about the day, the date, the weather, the season, all that kind of stuff. And that is pretty much it. That is my that is my tiny little homeschool space. I can't forget Henry, my little plant over there. My little Norfolk pine. I got him at Christmas time and really didn't expect it to live, but he surprised me and he's thriving in that window right there. So anyway, but I just I just wanted to encourage you guys, you don't have to have a huge space. It doesn't have to be perfectly decorated or perfectly clean or perfectly organized or anything like that you know it can you can make it your own you know you can just kind of do things as you go you don't have to have everything decorated and organized right from the get-go you can collect things as you go um that's that's the way that i've done it you know we i started out with with this one this one wall calendar this one little thing and then i bought the, that court board from a friend of mine so we hung that up and then another friend of mine was selling this little table, so I bought that from her. My mom was getting rid of those, those little three little, that three-tier shelf right there, so I got that from her. And then a few weeks later, I ordered my two maps, and then I printed out the five steps to a science experiment. I printed that out myself and just hung it up there. So none, this, this did not look like this in August. It looked a lot more bare. It didn't look as inviting as it does now to me. Um, you know, it would, in August, we were actually doing homeschool at the kitchen table. So, you know, that was where we started. And now this is where we've ended up. So, you know, things can look different. Things can change. Um, so, yeah, just know that you don't have to have a beautiful, aesthetically pleasing homeschool space just to be able to homeschool your kids. You know, just some, just a little nook or cranny in the corner of your house somewhere and and let that be it. So anyway, I just wanted to share that with you guys. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in my next video. Bye.